The Salvation Army Women's Refuge has been supporting women in varying capacities since 1897 and has been a domestic violence refuge for 40 years. In 2015, the refuge accommodated 230 women and children and we currently have 15 children from just a few weeks old up to 15 years of age. In August 2015, we established a mentoring program that we like to call The Hangout. The program was created in partnership with Hale School and was modelled on their highly successful Big Brother program at Ronald McDonald House. Each week, the Hale boys visit the children, helping them with their homework, or just taking the time to play games, chat, and even sing karaoke. The Hangout has become an important part of our service learning program, and we love visiting the children at the refuge. Over the past few months, we've been getting to know the children and have witnessed how their lives, as well as our own, have changed. Through the hard work and dedication of organizations like Path of Hope and the support of Rotary, we too get the opportunity to make a difference in these kids' lives. When Rotary investigated women's interests in the area of domestic violence and what happens when a mother and children arrive at the centre, it was realised that it was just not acceptable in that state. And it was realised they had to have some human interest contact. So a trial was created to take Year 11 boys to the centre and see what happens when they are directly associated with traumatised children of various ages. And slowly and gradually, a trust was built up between the Hale boys and the children to the point where it surprised everybody, including the psychologists who couldn't believe this immediate reaction to trust, which came from dealing with someone who was closer to them than the adults they'd been dealing with before. Many of the children at the refuge have come from situations that significantly disrupt their schooling. With personal and family issues to deal with, it can be difficult to find time to focus on study, which is so crucial at this early stage of their lives. Through the Hangout program, we get the opportunity to help with their homework and become a part of their learning journey. While it is only a small part of our time with them, having interactive learning helps these children to focus, work hard, and build their creativity and knowledge. The children are tomorrow. We're living with a problem today. And these children have started life on the wrong foot. We all know in an educational association how those formative years play such a major role in this. So to get them in an early stage is important so that if you can get something to reverse their downhill slide by having this association at the level of someone that's closer to their years but old enough to have a better understanding than they have of life, then that flows through to them and they get some degree of personal growth internally and mentally than they can't get in any other circle. Sadly, not all children are born into happy homes and they can be exposed to emotional or physical abuse. These experiences have a profound effect on these children and it can leave them feeling afraid, alone and angry. But sometimes, all they need is a little joy and to be reminded that it's okay to be a kid. Being at the refuge has allowed these children to socialise and to experience positive interactions that teach them about relationships and boundaries. We saw the motto of Rotary, Service Above Self, to be a parallel identification of another body, namely Hale School, in their motto, which is duty. And it doesn't take too much deep thinking to work out that both of those bodies are on the same course. Like you and I, the children at the refuge have been raised by people whose influence over us shapes our understanding of the world. Sometimes this influence is not a good one, and many of these children have a stigma about certain role models ingrained in them from an early age. For most, this forms a negative view of men in particular. In most cases, they haven't got a father to look up to. So this is a replacement father. They might be 15 to 16 years of age, but as far as that child is concerned, that's the male part of their lives. And in reality, the Hale boys are saving a life here. The Hale boy will never forget the result he had in talking a young person, boy or girl, into a status in life that puts them back on the rails. That's the reward. Perhaps one of the biggest things that the Hangout teaches these children is that positive male role models do exist and they are there to support them. By helping them with their homework or just joining in some play, we hope we can break down these stigmas and be a more positive influence in their lives, helping them to live free of fear.
While it certainly is hard work, it's an absolute privilege working alongside these women and their children. We want to say thank you to community groups such as Rotary and Hale School for always being willing to step in and give these families a helping hand when they need it the most. Being a part of the Hangout program has been an amazing experience for us. To watch these children remain positive and strong despite their hardships is a testament to the hard work and goodwill of organisations such as Rotary and Path of Hope. We are grateful for the opportunity to work alongside them to contribute to the betterment of these children's lives. And while they may have learned a few things from us, we have learned just as much from them. Their lives, as well as our own, have been changed forever. We look forward to continuing our relationship with the Salvation Army Women's Refuge, and we hope that you will join us.